As dog flu cases ramp up in Tulsa, many dog daycares, boarders, and trainers are taking precautions to keep your pets safe. Two News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer stopped by Spirit Ranch right here in Tulsa and found out how they're staying ahead of the curve. As soon as pet owners come in the door, they're required to fill out a form stating their dog has been vaccinated against canine influenza and they're not showing any symptoms. Be calm now. Meet Cece, a two-year-old German short-haired pointer. What's up, sister? Vaxxed and ready for daycare with a tasty treat. She stays at Spirit Ranch, where they only allow dogs that have been vaccinated for canine influenza and have not been around other facilities with dogs. It's coming quick and it's hitting hard. I spoke with office manager Nikki Mix, who believes they've avoided a canine influenza outbreak by doing so. Staff at the doggy daycare are spraying items inside more so than usual as well. The owner told me they have about 50% less dogs they typically have this time of year. If there's outbreaks in other places, can't be here. Um, if there are hot spots in other places, can't come here. A quick search of dog daycares in Tulsa will show they're well aware of the outbreak and are taking precautions. Have you ever seen it this bad? I have not. But not all are mandating vaccinations. Justin Ayer, 2 News, Oklahoma. We did look up some of the main signs and symptoms of canine influenza. According to the CDC, they include a cough, runny nose, fever, and reduced appetite. The CDC also says not all dogs will show signs and of illness, and most dogs will recover within two to three weeks. Some dogs, though, may develop secondary bacterial infections, which may lead to more severe illness and pneumonia.